The following video is brought to you by Tides of Man. You can check them out at myspace.com forward slash Tides of Man. And their new album, Dreamhouse, is currently available on iTunes. What is going on, Tubby Nation? Now, this is probably one of the main events. Uh, there's been some speculation that this might be the first title match of the night since it really doesn't have an effect on what titles will go on what show um, as everybody's on the show is in Raw. Now, honestly, in this one, I've been going back and forth who I think should win this match. Now, John Cena, you know, I, I like John Cena, but I kind of like him when he's not the champion. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, going into this match, it, it kind of sucks. Like, I don't understand the whole R-Truth, John Morrison thing. I know they did it to set him up as a heel, which is perfectly understandable. Um, but to make him give up his spot, you know, it, it's just, it's a huge letdown. It really is. You know, I, I finally thought, wow, they're actually going to give our truth a chance. It made no fucking sense why they would put him in a triple threat match, you know, but it, it was a huge disappointment. You know, they, they treat our truth the same way they did MVP where they really didn't care about him. And to be honest with you, I mean, I'm glad John Morrison is in this match. It makes a hell of a lot more sense. You know, but why tease that fact the whole time? I mean, they could have, you know, did a heel turn some way out, some other way. You know, instead they went the route allowing our truth to beat the shit out of John Morrison. And it kind of upset some people. Now, me personally, you know, The Miz, he's a great heel. He's, you know, great for the company. Um, John Morrison is the face. He, he's, he's the one that drives the ticket sales. You know, the merchandise. And then you have John Morrison, who, you know, the master of parkour, the, uh, I can't even remember the, the nickname, the shaman of sexy. You know, I, I think they had a really good opportunity with The Miz and John Morrison, and, and I think they kind of blew it. You know, in between Royal Rumble and Elimination Chamber, you know, in between TLC and Royal Rumble, there's a six-week gap. It's the longest gap between any pay-per-view. Because I think WrestleMania is only a five-week gap. Um, and they basically wasted John Morrison's title opportunity in between. And it was a hell of a good match, don't get me wrong. It was a very good, you know, back and forth, pretty entertaining match. But it just kind of felt like, you know, they, they gave John Morrison the shit. Now, honestly, I don't think John Morrison is ready to be WWE Champion. I don't think he's got the, the mic skills perfectly down yet. You know, Miz has got amazing mic skills. John Cena just gets everybody fired up. You know, but the problem that I'm having with um, this is, you know, now that you have Alberto Del Rio coming over to Raw, and where is he going to play into the picture? Because he's not going to win the World Heavyweight Championship. I mean, unless they have something planned where they're going to have both titles on Raw for a little bit until they figure out what's going to happen. I honestly think, you know, it's going to be a tough call. You know, you have Alberto Dario. Who do, who can he possibly feud with? He's a heel. He's not going to be going up against Miz. They're not going to put heel against heel. There's been some uh, talk about uh, the Miz going face, which I don't think is going to happen. It would be absolutely stupid to make it happen because he's such a good heel. You know, and then you have John Morrison who... <sighs> You know, he's, he's not ready yet. He's he's a great wrestler. He's hell of exciting. In this match, I think we're going to see some, one or two amazing, you know, stunts from the cage, top, bottom. You know, I was a little disappointed that in the steel cage match, you know, sometimes it's you can pin them inside. Sometimes the only way you can win is by escaping. This is one you can get a pinfall or submission or you can escape the cage. So now Miz, Miz could technically not get pinned at all. John Morrison could pin Cena. Cena can pit Morrison, and Miz loses the title. Now, honestly, as Miz is a great champion he is, I don't think he's going to be able to retain here, you know? The the smart, reasonable person inside me says he's going to retain somehow and find a way, but uh, you know, I'm going to go with John Morrison here, guys. Leave your predictions below, and uh, I, I went against my normal gut. I normally would never say Morrison. I honestly don't think he'd make that good of a champion. But I just thought I'd spice it up, guys. Let me know. Who are your predictions for this match? Is Cena going to be able to win? Is uh, 
he going to be the face of the company once again? Or is Miz going to be able to retain? We'll never know. But my name is Tubby Emu, guys. You know what? Maybe R-Truth fucks over John Morrison and doesn't allow him to win. Whatever, guys. My name is Tubby Emu. Go over to TubbyNation.com. You can make a bunch of topics to talk about it over there. Or you can go to Facebook.com forward slash Tubby Emu. Where I'm going to be posting a link to the streams tonight. And on my brand new blog I set up, TubbyEmu.com. Just going to have a bunch of WWE stuff and other news in a blog format. You guys have a great day. Peace.